Hey guys, The Conjurus here, and welcome to my Force Friday Star Wars review. Or, I think it's called Rogue Friday this time, because it's the Rogue One launch for all the Ro uh, Star Wars Rogue One figures. And I picked up three figures while I was in town, and the three figures I picked up is... Or, sorry, are Sergeant Jin Erzo, uh, and it says A. Erdu, which I'm assuming is the planet that she's from, or she's... Uh, the rebel base is on, or it's possibly uh, one of the planets from the movie. Uh, well, it's obviously going to be one of the planets from the movie, but it'll probably have some significance in the movie. Uh, there's the Imperial Grand Crew, which is this guy, and K2SO, uh, which is the, uh, according to the movie, he's a reprogrammed Imperial droid. So, just having a quick look at the boxes, they're all pretty much standard. So you got the Death Squad Trooper up in the corner with TIE Fighters and at silhouetted in the background. The artwork is really cool. It's actually, unlike, uh, it's a really cool artwork picture. I think, if I remember correctly, the, um, the Force Awakens ones were maybe photos of Kylo Ren. No, actually, no, they were artwork as well, so really nice artwork. A really good art image of the figure inside the box. The Packaging style is very similar to the um, Force Awakens. Like you got the character up in the corner, a character uh, art of the character in the corner on the left-hand corner, and then you got the zipline action. Each figure has their own unique accessory. This is KSO, K2SO's, and he has the zipline action. Then flipping around the back, it says uh, there's a brief bio form. And there's a ton of legalese stuff and stuff about the um, downloading the Hasbro Studio FX app to make videos with your toys. So, uh, the brief um, write-up for him is... Uh, a reprogrammed Imperial security droid now loyal to the Alliance K2SO is an alarming sight standing within a secret rebel base. The pragmatic droid is an effective insertion agent as he can blend in perfectly at Imperial installations and outposts. So it doesn't give too much away about the, the character in the film or what he does in the film but it's quite a nice little write up. Uh, let's go quickly through the others. So again you got a picture of Jin Erzo in the corner. It's a very nice artwork uh, paint, um, illustration of her. And you see she has a projectile firing kind of rocket launcher type deal. Again, Death Squad, Trooper, TIE Fighters and the at er, Well, it's the at -ACTs are the ones that are in the movie. And then you got a highly skilled soldier in the Rebel Alliance. Jin Erzo is an impetuous, defiant warrior eager to bring the battle to the Empire. Jin has little patience for debate with Alliance High Command enough so that she takes matters into her own hands. So that's a brief little bio for her. Again, um, all the legally stuff and the stuff about the app, and all the kind of you know Disney logos, Hasbro logos, etc. And the last guy that I picked up is the Imperial Grand Crew, which looks like a redesigned Death, uh, Death Star Trooper. Or sorry, Death Star Gunner. And the little brief bio for him. Just bring it into focus. Says Imperial installations, whether space bound or ground bound, buzz with activity and vehicular traffic. Skilled ground crews store throughout this would be chaos and see to the smooth operation of Imperial craft through regular regular maintenance. So I'm guessing he's like an Imperial engineer and he's like the guys on aircraft carriers because he comes with the uh, kind of weird little pauldron things that you know they they show um direct uh airplanes with so you know he just like directs the tie fighters into different areas or probably directs the ata cts to where they need to go by showing them where to go with the um little stick things i know there's a probably a certain name for them but i can't remember what it is and i'm not sure i i actually not sure if i know what they the stick things are but I'll just call them the stick things. They do clip onto his back. In fact, which way do they clip on? I think they just sit on this way. Yeah, they sit on this way. So, so they do stick onto his back. 
Um, he comes with what's called combat gear, and all of these guys have st standard five points of articulation that I know Arnold hates. So they have forward and back. He can do quite a good bit back on the legs. They're not. They are individual. They're not together. The rotation on the arms, and they're on a ball jointed head. So if I pop off the head, you can see the ball joint. And just pop back on so you can look left or right. He doesn't have much up and down, just left to left and right. Uh, he does have his weird little backpack thingy that has like little wings on it. It looks like a little jet pack. And he can clip that over, you just clip it over his neck. So, yeah, you just should clip it around his neck. And if you remember, it looks like he has like larger versions of little, um, those little things on him. But uh, he can fly wherever he needs, I suppose, and direct traffic. So he has like a weird jetpack type thing. Doesn't look like there's a new place for storing the uh, those uh, control stick things when the backpack is on him. But uh, it just folds up like that. And there he is. He has quite a cool sculpting. I like the kind of body armor piece. It reminds me a bit of the... Um, TIE Fighter Pilots and let's see if you can stand with that back piece on him he can but you have to kind of lean him forward to touch now onto, two, onto K2SO uh, this guy looks awesome and I love that he has double ball jointed head so he has a ball joint at the base of the neck and another one just at the base of the head so you can get some great rotate, uh, great poses and um, movement out of him. Again, he only has the same kind of standard rotations, or no, actually, he has slightly ball jointed arms, so he can actually move his arms slightly out and back. And if I remember correctly, he does have ball jointed legs, but it's the same, he doesn't have any other articulation. So it would be nice if they, for well, for customizers, he's probably going to be the easiest guy to customize because you just need to just drop some pins into him. You can give him full articulation practically once you like drum him out off his legs and stuff. But he does come with his little zip line, knocking people over. Zip line launcher, which just connects onto one of his hands. Actually, it connects onto his hand and then clips onto the wrist. And you just pull it out. And I'm not sure if you can see that. You just pull it straight out and he just zips all the way up on it. So I'll just quickly go over the articulation again because I may have written, uh, may not have had him in the, on screen. But uh, he has a little ball jointed hips. Uh, he has slightly ball jointed shoulders, and that's pretty much it. And as my friend Jay pointed out when he was doing the review review for this guy, he actually has a um, design similar to the old stormtroopers that has that um, kind of backpack piece that or the piece on their back sculpted or the sculpting on their back that looks like a kind of um energy pack or something like that. So moving quickly along onto Jin herself. Now Jin is an interesting figure. She has unlike the other figures she actually has uh eight no seven points of articulation and I'll go over them there quickly. So she has the standard ball jointed head. She has this little gas um, canister thing with an oxygen mask, which looks very similar to the ones that Chewie and Han wore when they were inside the um, asteroid field. And I think Leia had one as well. Her hands are on rotate are on the standard five point articulation, and it just rotates around. It is hindered on this side by the cloak. You can get it all the way around but it stretches out the hand her, again her leg legs go forward and backwards she has a working holster and she comes with two weapons so she actually comes with a pistol which can go into her holster and she comes with this big giant missile launcher thing which looks like it should attach onto her shoulder but she can hold this way it has a little sight on it and it's just clip uh, the missile. It's just it uh, the missile itself. When it goes in, it just clips in with this, and then you just notch it to the side, and it fires out. 
and this is where she has extra points of articulation just in her wrist she actually has wrist rotation which is something that Hasbro has added to her just uh, for unknown reason but uh, she does have quite a nice face sculpt it does kind of remind me of um, sorry, I can just bring it into focus her head sculpt reminds me of Endor uh, Leia with the you know the hat and stuff like that very similar kind of look and she has a kind of a cloak as well the kind of similar kind of cloak that Leia had when she was on Endor as well so um, she's quite a good figure um, so if there's anything else I can say about these guys well these are the only ones I picked up so far they did have the full wave I wasn't too interested in getting any of the kind of um, Force Awakens style and the Rebels figures they had Sabine uh, the Kylo Ren again and um, I think there was oh Kanan in his um, Stormtrooper uniform so I wasn't too interested in getting those and the only other one they had was the actual Force, uh, the Rogue One Stormtrooper which I do want to kind of get because he has that weird clip on armour stuff which I kind of find interesting but I, I only limited myself to getting three figures and so far there's no sign of the two packs anywhere over here they did have the big tall interactive talking uh, stormtrooper which looked really cool but he's you know, like a giant five point of articulation stormtrooper so I wasn't too pushed on getting him so those are the figures or reviews and I just want to bring in some standard Star Wars figures just for size comparison so I have my I think it's a legacy uh, TIE fighter pilot so you can just see the heights of figures he stands just about the same height as the if I can just bring it into focus uh, he stands just about the same height as the Imperial ground crew and then I have a Stormtrooper uh, kind of standard oh he's not a standard Stormtrooper he's actually one of the comic pack Stormtroopers one of the rebels in disguise but he's about the same size as a standard Stormtrooper anyway so he has green hands he's actually a um, Doris character if I remember correctly He's actually, and they just reused a um, one of the Nimro Nimroidian, Nimroidian heads for him. But uh, there he is. You can just see the scale again. K2SL just towers over the rest of them. Now, uh, there is one other thing I wanted to just show because uh, I picked it up and I got all the parts for it. And it is this thing, which is. If I just zoom out there. This yoke, which is one of the build a weapon sets from one of the later waves. It's quite an interesting little build a weapon. This is the one from the normal, uh, the second run of the Stormtrooper, the First Order Snowtrooper, and the X Wing Pilot Ash T set. So I hadn't, I had picked up the Snowtrooper and the Ash T figure ages ago. And I had these little wing pack from Asti and the kind of weird blade things from um, the Snowtrooper. But I hadn't the bit from the um, the Stormtrooper, the First Order Stormtrooper that holds it all together. So I just picked it up there a few days ago. And it's actually quite a cool little cannon type thing mounted, ski cannon. I just thought I'd add it in as, a, as its Force uh, Rogue Friday. So it's quite a nice little set. I know a lot of people were pretty much disappointed with these um with those kind of build a figure or build a weapon things and they were they would have preferred either build a droids or uh, either more articulation on the basic figures and just leave the gimmicky stuff out of it but uh for what it is i don't mind them i, I found some of them quite interesting designs and i kind of like collecting them so there you go guys quick uh, quick video review for force friday Hope you enjoyed the review and as I said if you want to like the video feel free to click like if you want to comment on the video feel free to comment and if you want to subscribe to the channel feel free to subscribe too. Hope you enjoyed the review guys.